अंडरस्टैंडिंग नफ्स सूफी हो गई नफ्स इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फंडामेंटल प्रॉब्लम्स मैन हैज टू फेस द वेज ऑफ इट हैव टू बी अंडरस्टूड राइटली अदरवाइज यू विल नेवर बी एबल टू गेट रीड ऑफ इट नफ्स इज द सूफी टर्म फॉर द इंग्लिश वर्ड ईगो and until you get rid of ego or nafs there is no possibility of god to help it is the ego that functions as a barrier between you and the reality ego functions as a barrier because it is one of the most unreal thing possible it is a fiction it is not a reality it is maintained by conditioning hypnosis and a thousand and one props it is a fiction because existence is one it unites and ego divides it can have only one center not millions of centers each one of you who is guided by ego has its own center to operate from that is why there are always clashes between people when you understand god is the center of everything the same spark that flows in you flows in the other as well when two circles two circumferences are drawn on one center how can there be a difference sufism seeks to transform ego sufis call ego as nafs remember sufism is alchemy it is a science to transform lead into gold the baser into the higher the outer into inner it is a science to transform world into gold remember sufism is not a philosophy instead it is a science it does not believe in speculation instead it believes in experience instead of logical thinking it believes in experimentation only experiment decides what is true remember nothing else can be decisive only when you know do you know and there is no other way to know I have spoken earlier on enough on the understanding of ego nafs and sufism now I take you into sufi tarika to explain various aspects of nafs sufis explain seven stages of nafs nafs is at the lowest ebb of sufi understanding of the being accordingly being operates at three levels in descending orders these are nafs kal and ruh nafs the ego sense kal the heart center and ruh is the soul or being seven stages of nafs the first is the commanding self or nafs amara then blaming self or nafs lawama inspired self nafs mulima satisfied self nafs mutmaina consenting self nafs 
radia consent given self nafs mardia and purified self nafs safia sufi methodology centers of nafs kalb and ruh it goes in the same ascending order nafs refers to lower emotions nafs operates through consciousness or ego sufis say there are seven stages of consciousness or the levels of nafs kalb refers to heart center it is the seat of positive emotions when individual consciousness moves from lower ranks or it is freed from ego it moves from negative to positive stages a still journey continues last is the ruh when an aspirant operates any of these levels it becomes the plane of operation this is the level of beyond this there is positive and negative these represents duality and that which is is beyond the duality of negative and positive also for the transformation of the aspirant the master begins from that plane where the aspirant is operating from for this the master uses the technique of that particular plane the methodology to evolve from one particular plane differs the duality of positive and negative continues until the aspirant crosses the plane of ruh beyond this there is no duality parallel to this is found in the chakra or psycho spiritual centers of hindus or tantra two centers muladhar and swadishthan belong to the plane of nafs manipur and hridpad belongs to the plane of kal and lastly vishuddha anjana the throat center and the center between the two eyebrows belong to the plane ruh up to this plane duality remains and beyond this there is no more duality this is most comprehensive explanation of ego nafs operates through consciousness or ego there are seven stages through which consciousness moves before it attains fruition these are called levels of nafs the stage of nafs denotes basically the stages of consciousness when the consciousness takes shape in the beginning it considers all the carnal desires as if they are its own desires this is known as desire nature at this level it recognizes itself only as a physical body thus it leads a life completely focused on the needs and the pleasures of the body this also relates itself with the body and all that is associated with it at this stage ego operates as the commanding self commanding self or nafs amara nafs amara or commanding self at the level of understanding consciousness recognizes itself as a physical body alone and nothing more is important than the body it seeks to fulfill all the bodily needs pain 
pleasure and all that relates to the body. This is the grossest form of ego. When you look around, each one of us is interested in the fulfillment of it, his or her own desires. And desires relate, relating to the physical body, the comforts, the beautification, this and that. We are all concerned how do we look, whether we are looking beautiful or presentable, and whole life is spent on beautifying the body and we do not go beyond this. When you are interested in all these things, then you are at the level of nafs amara or commanding self. Then comes the second stage, blaming the self or nafs lavana. At this stage, the aspirant associates himself with the body alone, nothing else matters, while still accepting himself as a body, he thinks that his life will never come to an end. Also, it shall therefore go on in some way even after body disappears and that he will experience the consequences of his deeds in this world. In that case, the self begins to regret because it realizes his possible wrongdoings while still considering his future life after death. This state is described as blaming the self or loves loved one. The third stage is inspired self or nafs mulima. As seen earlier, self at the both of these levels or states of consciousness is connected to and remains focused on the physical body alone. The consciousness at that state is not aware of its heaven yet. Its world is the earth, or earth, the physical body. All his delights and his struggles are connected with this earth, or the physical body. If consciousness realizes that it is not in fact a body, but a reflection of the universal consciousness or an expression of the qualities possessed by the universal oneness, then at the level its capacity allows an awareness that is called as the inspired self or nafs mulima. In view of its characterization, each awareness is realized through inspirations or ilhams alone. We say that we feel it is so. This is in Sufi terminology known as ilham. At that level of understanding, the consciousness begins to get rid of the idea of accepting himself as a body. He sometimes feel himself as a body and other times as something separate from the body. However, what kind of an entity he is at that state of feeling separates from the body is not clear to him as yet. Also that is not the state that can be experienced through knowing. This stage of understanding for the consciousness is most difficult stage of life. There the consciousness faces many contradictions. He may sometimes consider himself as a servant, other times as a god, 
experiencing the odd results of such sensations, the person who sees himself as God at that stage may even find the level of sainthood or vilayat as luring for himself. He may thus let loose all his values and fall on a completely corporal life. For people of true faith, the act of reading begins to be practiced at that level of consciousness when reading the system that is called Sunnat Allah he is initiated for such a consciousness, then the wise of what Rasulullah brought opens to him at the level of realization. And this is known as certainty through Haq or Haqqul Yaqeen. Yaqeen means certitude and Haq means truth, the truth of certitude. He becomes worship free of God. At that stage he is purified from the spiritual power of heartless discovery, unveiling or as we use the Sufi terminology, Kashfe Julman and possesses the spiritual powers of carrying discovery. This is known as Nafs Nurani, means Nur means light. He begins to perceive the secrets of the scriptures. He also experiences that the spiritual state is called as Arif or awareness or genosity. Almost all the persons whose belief assumes them to be Aliya and even regard them suitable for the spiritual state, status of Kutub means when somebody attains to the state of Shikub, he is known as Kutub and or at the realm of consciousness. Those persons may sometimes think themselves as real possessors of those spiritual positions or martava stage due to their level of comprehension. Whereas theirs is yet no more then a small accumulation of water coming down from the fountain of the Vilaya. It is like the water is gushing from a river from a source and then it accumulates in a, a small vessel. So this person at that stage consider himself when the water collects or you get a little bit of understanding or for that simple reason if you know one or two recipes you consider yourself to be the master chef. This is something in a simple term known as that. Nafs has two meanings. First it means the powers of anger and sexual appetite in a human being and this is the usage mostly found among the people of Tasawwuf or Sufis who, who take nafs as the comprehensive word for all the evil attributes of a person. That is why they say one must certainly do battle with ego and break it. Your worst enemy is your nafs which lies between your plans. The second meaning of nafs is the soul, the human being in reality, his self and his person. However, it is described differently according to its different stages. If it assumes calmness under command 
and has removed from itself the disturbance caused by the onslaught of passion, it is called the satisfied self or nafs al mutmainna In its first meaning of nafs does not envisage its return to God because it has kept itself far from him. Such a nafs is from double it is said. However, when it does not achieve calmness, yet sets itself against the love of passion and objects to it, it is called the self-accusing soul or nafs lavama because then it rebukes its owner for his neglect in the worship of his master. If it gives up all protest and surrenders itself to, in total obedience to the call of passions, it is called the soul that enjoys the evil or nafs amara which could be taken to refer as ego in its first meaning.